talking about the things that matter most to you, Catholic Women Now. Welcome to Catholic Women Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio. I'm Julie Nelson. Good morning. I'm Chris Magruder. And how are you, my friend? I'm always good, Chris. <laughs> I'm always good. It's always fun to be here. It, yes. it is. I just and I'm excited about our guest today. Yeah, I uh, came upon their booth, Kingdom Builders, um, at the National Eucharistic Congress, and started talking to them. And they took my name and they sent me an email. So today we have Jackie Flory. She's on and she's a host parish support coordinator, and she's going to tell us all about Kingdom Builders, her own experience with Kingdom Builders. And this is for women. So this yeah. is a true Catholic Women Now show. And it's Eucharistic. It's Eucharistic, it's which Eucharistic. is so beautiful, which has come out of the NEC. And you so. know what? I'm going to put a little challenge out to all of our listeners. So one of the things that happened at the Eucharistic Congress was we were challenged to just help one person. So if today this show helps you, pass this show to just one person. Tell them about our podcast and let them hear about Kingdom Builders. It mm-hmm. may be just what they need. Yep, it's the Eucharistic heart of Jesus. That's right. It's Eucharistic. That's right. All right, so let's start it with prayer. All right. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Truth, beauty, and goodness. What's yours? Start us okay, out. Okay, so this is, this was kind of based on some of the things that Doc, uh, Deke and Randy Kill talked about on John's show within the past two weeks. It was a Tuesday morning. I think it was a Tuesday after Labor Day, actually. And he was talking about the garden. And, you know, I've been gardening this year. My husband and I are like, this is our empty nester connection. <laughs> and uh, it's gone gangbusters. It's popping. And um, there's so many correlations about the garden. And it's just the connection with God uh. and how in the garden you're caring and just you're giving yourself to the earth to create, you know, you know, cooperate with God, bring forth food for our bodies and nourishment. How being in the garden, you're in the dirt and how um, we came from dirt. We were created from dirt. So there's just like this calming presence with that as well, a peace, mm. peace. And it's just, he, and then he talked about the community of gardening. Like you see community gardens, it brings communities together. But there was just been, and the weeds, I remember the beginning of the year, oh my gosh, all these weeds. And like we'd, <laughs> we'd weed one day and the next day there'd be more weeds somewhere else. <laughs> but now all that work getting rid of weeds has produced a, a garden that is bringing forth a lot of abundance. And the weeds in our, li- in our own life is like sin, right? Mm-hmm. As we get them down and down. And then how we feel more free and it, life becomes a little more simple. And it's, gardening is simpler now. Now we just go in and we just have to pick everything. We don't have to do the weeds. The we harvesting. Have, yes. And we don't have to put the, you know, stake the plants and put the cages on and all that kind of stuff. The metaphor of life, yeah, right? Yeah, it, it is beautiful. It is. It is. It is. It is it, and there's a cycle, you know, yeah. and there's order. And yeah. so, yeah, there's so many analogies. Yeah. And I've used them in spiritual direction and people will, like, they will connect with that. Well, my truth, beauty, and goodness segment uh, is just beauty and goodness through my granddaughter. It's just really, you know, you're talking about um, being in the garden. I was outside. So I'm, I'm going to connect with you there, Julie. <laughs> outside with her, picking up sticks in our backyard, throwing them into a pile. And God bless her happy little soul. All I would do would be, I'd pick up a stick and then I'd throw it in the pile. And for some reason, throwing it in the pile was really funny, like rolling laughter kind of funny for my granddaughter. And I just thought, God, this is so beautiful. I'm doing something so simple and you're bringing such joy. And isn't that the way God works? Simple. Yeah. Simple. And like I said, the closer we come to God, the more simple life becomes. Yeah. And a child is very simple. Right? Oh, yes. 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 So, yeah. Anyway, beautiful. And, and anyway, and one more thing I have to say about the garden I forgot to mention. Oh. So there's this hymn um, in the garden, and he walks with me, and he talks with oh, me. Oh, yes. And he tells me I'm the only one. <laughs> I always think of that song when I'm in the garden. Oh. Yeah. And it all began in the garden. Oh, you weren't going to sing it for us? No, that's your job. <laughs> you're, you're the singer. All but right. well, anyway, we've got a all great right. guest that we need to get to here. Oh, my gosh. That was fun, Chris. That was fun exchange there of <laughs> hearing your truth, beauty, and goodness. Right. Um, so today we have Jackie Fleury. She is the host parish support coordinator for Kingdom Builders, a new ministry. It started in 2019, I believe. So she's here joining us on Catholic Women Now. Welcome, Jackie, to the show. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. Well, it's fun to have you. Tell us, what is Kingdom Builders in the first place? 
Okay, so Kingdom Builders um, is a gathering type um, apostolate that was founded in 2019 um, by Mary Jo Parrish here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's where we're located. Um, it's a fully volunteer-led, fully developed, theologically sound Catholic women's apostolate, and we have host parish core teams that are equipped to present a monthly Eucharistic event at the parish level, and we call it a Kingdom Builder Gathering. And the core team has fully developed roles and responsibilities within the shared mission of evangelization. So we offer an opportunity to evangelize within and beyond parish boundaries to Catholics and non-Catholics alike. Um, It is segmented our gatherings into two sections. The first section is a 45-minute teaching component that involves the monthly scripture readings from the Gospels and also just the regular readings that we are incorporated into the teaching. And then the second 45 minutes is Eucharistic Adoration with Praise and Worship Music. Um, And we also, it's a full, we have the full benediction. We have the priest involved. Um, it's just beautiful. I love and that you have Protestants there going to Eucharistic yes. Adoration. Yes, this is, and that is one way that we really evangelize to everyone. Like, as Catholics, obviously, um, we don't want to feel, like, so cloistered, I feel like, and this really gives us that opportunity to evangelize. Like, it's for all women. Um, Jesus, obviously, we, as Catholics, we're always like, you know, we understand these things, but they can also be brought into it, and we're able to give them the opportunity to um, experience that and ask questions and follow along. We have all sorts of companions, so they don't feel left out. They don't know what they're not, you know. We have our gathering companion. Um, We meet women where they're at. That's kind of what our mission is. I always just think of Father John Ricardo saying when he started getting adoration, Going more frequently, he goes, you just get him in front of Jesus, and he does the rest. Yeah, we don't have to do it all. We don't, we don't have, have to create something. We just open. 100%. We open mm-hmm. the doors all. Mm-hmm. Well, we got to take a little break here, but I'm just excited to dive more into this. Kingdom Builders, our guest today is Jackie Flory. She's going to talk li- with us a little bit more about it after this break. You're listening to Catholic Women Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio. Welcome back to Catholic Women Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio, where we are speaking with our guest today, Jackie Fleury. She is the host parish support coordinator for Kingdom Builders, a women's apostolate based out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And Jackie, tell us a little bit about the founder and how this got started with her. Okay, so our founder is Mary Jo Parrish. She is a mom of 10. Um, She has been a teacher of the Catholic faith for over 15 years before starting Kingdom Builders. And the Apostle really was born out of her desire for all women to know their beauty, worth, and authority um, as a beloved daughter of the King. And that knowledge only comes, she knew, through what she felt was an encounter with Jesus Christ. Um, And so she launched Kingdom Builders on kind of a whim in January of 2019 of this idea at St. Vincent de Paul um, Catholic Church in Fort Wayne. She was hoping to get like 40 women and over 300 attended, Wow, wow. Um, which is amazing. And we've now grown into 13 host parishes, um, and we're going to be launching more coming soon. And we're in five dioceses now. It really just started out as a mom who was home with her kids, who was like, who just felt like Jesus was placing this on her heart. Um, and once the invitation was set out, women came. Women rise up, right? Mm-hmm. Women yes, rise they do. Up. Mm-hmm. So tell yeah. us a little bit about, can you, yeah. can you help us understand what an encounter yeah. with Christ looks like, is? Yes. So for me especially, um, I was actually there um, when it launched. I saw, the, I saw it advertised in the bulletin as King the Builders. I didn't know what it was. Um, and I showed up, and I just felt the Holy Spirit setting me on fire. I did... Like, it was almost just like this was something that women needed to come together in community to be able to experience Eucharistic adoration together, worshiping together, just feeling like the Lord, like, present in our lives. I just, it was so powerful. I can't even, it was hard to explain. I remember going home that night telling my husband, I don't know what it is. I don't know what she needs, but I'll do anything for this ministry. Um, And Jesus made me wait two years, which was fine, because my husband is a good reality check, and he was just like, 
you need to pace yourself. You're involved in a lot of ministry right now. <laughs> I was pregnant um, with my third, and there was just a lot going on. But um, like I said, the Lord um, is never outdone, and I was able to um, also serve on a core team, which was really helpful to even further invest myself in the ministry before I actually started working for Kingdom Builders. Um, but within that, really experiencing, like, adoration, the, the biggest component is, is that we are obviously incorporating the priest. We're, like, walking women through it. We've got the praise and worship music. Like, a lot of our host parishes, they decorate the altar so beautifully. They have candles. We invite women to come up. It's very intimate, but also not intimidating. We are also very cognizant that, yeah, there's not going to be women that are Catholic here, but they're going to experience something, and who knows what, where that's going to lead. We've had women that are going into RCIA, that's what we call ours, for to become Catholic. Um, that happens frequently because they're moved so powerfully um, what are, some, what are some of the what are some of the topics that you guys cover in Kingdom Builders? Yeah, kind oh, of so walk us through this. So you meet once a month for seven months. Yes. Um, so actually, it is eleven months out of the year. We offer um, it's I, I would call it almost membership based. They our host parishes renew once a year with us, but we offer them the teaching content, which can go from we provide all the content, training, and support materials, promotions that they need. Um, uh, the teachings all vary. Some, uh, a lot of their saints incorporated in them. We we have liturgical year. We use that a lot of the time. So you're kind of like getting that monthly boost of scripture within the teaching. Um, but it's like infused with stories and humor um, that's very relatable to women. So like as as moms, as grandmothers, as just single, if you're a single, um, because we encourage even younger women like to come, um, widows, it hits for everyone. We're not just a one target audience. It's for everyone, all women. And, um, and I think that that's the beauty of it is that we have that. Um, I always say we're creating the army of adorers, so we want to get them there. The teaching is a component of it, but they're there for Jesus in Eucharistic adoration. I was going to say, That's yeah, like because you, biggest... you start with that, but then you end with just being there with him, right? And you said you yes. all incorporate praise and worship music. How does that come into the adoration hour? So there are two praise and worship songs that actually our founder, who writes our, puts together all our content, she tries to coordinate that with whatever the teaching theme is. Okay. So maybe it's healing. Maybe there's woundedness, and we discussed that that month. So she's going to try to pick some worship, praise and worship songs that are going to be healing, that, you know, that maybe that song that month is just going to hit. And I, I'll be honest, I get emotional and cry a lot during adoration <laughs> because of how powerful it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not ashamed to – originally I was like that was kind of – I felt like embarrassing, but now it's very like this is just real and this is how life is. And when you have an encounter with Jesus, it moves you. Mm-hmm. Um, and he I think the you. music part of it just can – for some women, it just gives it even more depth. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I and, I was reading online about Kingdom Builders and how, especially for those people that are on the team that are leading the evangelization in the program, you guys really have a, a, a desire to lead with joy. Oh, yes. And so we, tell us about that. Yeah, so we feel that women were made for peace and joy. Like, in your life, you are made. Like, that is, you know, Jesus is telling us we are made for that. We are not made to just be run ragged around with on a hamster wheel. <laughs> and I think that, <laughs> I, I think it's something that I lead then with a lot of times. Like, if someone's talking to me and you're like, oh, my gosh, things are just not going. It's like, maybe there's something in your life that's not creating that peace and joy, and you've got to get rid of it. And I think that, you know, that goes into just maybe it's them getting reconciliation, which we do talk about a lot in our teachings. Um, so, like, we talk about all of the pathways to get to have that peace and joy um, in their lives. And we actually have what's called a gathering companion that women have at the gathering. And inside of it doesn't just have – it has all sorts of information. But some of it is how to build themselves up, how to build others, how to build the church, and effective ways to do that that can bring them that peace and joy. So we're also encouraging 
Um, we want everyone to have a good foundation, so we're, we also have a foundation for Kingdom Builders, and that's built on a minimum of 10 minutes of prayer a day. It's mm-hmm. staying in a state of grace. So, you know, if obviously if they're not Catholic, we ask that they maybe speak to someone, a therapist, but if they're Catholic, to go to reconciliation, or you could speak to a priest. And Sunday Mass, oh, getting okay. to Mass every yeah. week. Yeah. I don't know why I yeah. forgot that one. That's the easiest one. <laughs> so getting to Mass every week. Oh, and then when you can do that, like, you have to have a good foundation for anything. So, like, you have to have a good foundation exactly. to be able to have that peace and joy. Mm-hmm. If you're not, if you're running around and, you're, and Jesus isn't present in your life every day, how do you have that? Right. right. All right. Well, we're t- we need to take a little break here, Jackie. And so when we come back, we're going to have some more information about Kingdom Builders. We're speaking with Jackie Flory. She's a host parish support coordinator for Kingdom Builders. This is Catholic Women Now, and you're listening to Iowa Catholic Radio Network. Welcome back to Catholic Women Now. You're listening to Chris Magruder and Julie Nelson. We are talking today with Jackie Flory about Kingdom Builders And Jackie, Kingdom Builders is a lot about adoration and being with Jesus and having an encounter with him. Now, off air, you were telling us that, you know, you had never done adoration before Kingdom Builders. So I want to know how has Kingdom Builders, how has not Kingdom Builders, but adoration changed you? Yes. So that's absolutely true. Um, Kingdom Builders was my first, like, touch point for what it looked like. And I think that for me, what really helped was we have what's called a gathering companion, and in it, it kind of walks you through adoration, so I could see, like, what benediction was, and, like, we're, we're praying Latin hymns, and what the priest is saying, and I think that was beautiful. I love the rich, like, tradition of our, our Catholic faith, so that was, like, really powerful for me. Um, also, I just feel like being exposed to it, like, I think just getting to Mass, and I think my first thoughts were, what do I do? Like, what am I going to do? I mean, and I think it was being open to, like, holy, come Holy Spirit, come letting the Lord just, um, like, be silent even sometimes, but sometimes speak. And that looks in different ways for different people. Um, for me, it was like, okay, I'm just going to sit, and I look at Jesus, and He looks at me, mm-hmm. and that's okay. I'm just going to, you know, like, I'm just going to immerse myself in this. Mm-hmm. And what's really transpired in almost, you know, over five years is that now I have a, a holy hour. Um, I love going to adoration and spending time with Jesus. Um, I feel like just my prayer life has evolved. Um, I feel like I have, like, Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist, and I can go to him. And then I think that it just builds a better connection of heaven like touching earth. Mm. And I think sometimes we get so like busy and, and away from that, that we, we need it. Mm. Like I need silence. I have three little kids. My life is busy and loud all the time. Um, and so like adoration also gave me that. It gave me a lot of peace. It gave me a lot of um, silence to be able to live my vocation. So what are the fruits? What are the fruits? I mean, obviously that those are incredible personal fruits for you. What have been the yep. fruits in the parishes that you have seen where Kingdom Builders has yes. been started? So we have women that have been away from the sacraments for years. And they come to our gatherings and they return. And it is a beautiful. We actually offer at a lot of our parish parishes, they offer reconciliation during um, adoration. So there are women going to receive the sacrament of reconciliation during this time as well. And, um, you know, even specific, more specifically, we had a builder who had been away from the church for 30 years, and now she actually works at KB Central. Mm-hmm. Like, she, it, it just re- it revitalized her life. We have women that are coming that are not Catholic, obviously, that want to become Catholic, like I said before. Um, but I think just women returning to the sacraments mm-hmm. that have been away for so long, I, uh, uh, women that haven't maybe you, you know been able to receive the Eucharist that now are able to because they've been able to go to reconciliation. I think um, what's so beautiful and, is one of the things that they talked about. I think it was Father Mike Schmidt said the National Eucharistic Congress is you can't have revival without um, repentance, mm. 
And so that you're mm-hmm. bringing reconciliation in with this. They go the, hand in you, hand. You know, in Eucharistic heart, setting them on fire. How? It's like yeah. an, a spiritual explosion going on in hearts. It really is. And that's why we love like Kingdom Builders and want to share the mission with everyone. <laughs> and we believe that women should have this at their parishes. I agree. Um, yeah, just because so, so we are truly of that, walking with them. How, speaking of that, how does somebody's listening right now probably going, I want to get this started at my parish. Mm-hmm. How does one start that? Yeah, Julie's waving right now. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. So it's super easy. We have it all set up by going to our website, which is buildingthroughhim.com. Um, and then we have a tab that says Build With Us. And it says Become a Host Parish. And once you click on that, you are then looking at our self-assessment that tells, like, where you kind of are at. Um, and then through that, you'd be able to contact us. And we would be able to help you bring this to your parish. We walk with you step by step, um, just getting it launched, um, being in constant contact. Part of my job is managing all of our running host parishes, and I'm in contact with them all the time. Um, And I'm just more, I'm that support system for them, encouragement, troubleshooting. We are are there to make sure that what they're putting on is beautiful um, and is Truly, what you guys are even saying, it's, it's truth, beauty, and goodness. That's mm-hmm, really yeah. also what we're about. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, it sounds very simple. You just pr- basically need your priest to show up once a month. doesn't sound like yep. he has to do and, a whole lot of prep. And then you need about yeah. seven people to make up your team, right? Yes. Yeah, Correct. that's not so much. We, we, and, and sometimes there's more, which is great. Um, and really, you could do it with a little less, but seven is a perfect number. Yes. Um, and really the women, mm-hmm. if they want to be on a core team, they meet once a month for their meeting and they meet for the gathering. So it isn't, it isn't a lot, um, but it, the, it bears, you know, it bears a lot of fruit just because of what it is. Yeah. I, I think another important piece you have here is the accompaniment. When you said you have gatherers and the companions mm-hmm. with these people, yep. they're coming, these women, they're coming in new or, or mm-hmm. you've, Fall, drifted away from the faith and are coming back. I think that accompaniment is really, really important right now. Oh, one hundred percent. Yes, they need that. We also, um, we also have um, what we call mosaic small groups. So we also encourage women to start grouping together in community because we know that women need community to be able to build themselves and build the church. Um, so we also highly encourage coming to the gathering, but then also starting their own small. Um, groups outside of the kingdom gathering continuing continuing to build the kingdom we also yeah we also sell our own materials for that on our website anyone can purchase those um and and it's just a great way it also is a great way to get other women to come because if you start a small group with even non-catholics or catholics then they can start coming to gatherings as well it's one way we also bring women into gatherings Oh wow! This sounds wonderful. You've sounds got a easy. lot of the important easy, easy too. You've got all that. the important pieces there that yeah. we need for revival and renewal in your mm-hmm. church and parish in our church yeah. today. So, Jackie Fleury, yeah. thank you so much for joining us here today on Catholic Women Now. And again, that's buildingthroughhim.com. Yeah, thank God you bless so you. much. God bless. God bless you, you guys yes. too. Thank you. Should we go out in prayer? Let's do. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, just continue to gather us in into your sacred heart, into your Eucharistic heart. Lord Jesus, thank you for what you're doing. Help us to grow in love for you and love and through the through adoration, through your Eucharistic heart, through the heart that you have, that you love us so much. Fill our hearts with your, your love and your peace and your joy. And thank you, Jesus, for bringing forth a kingdom builders and the good work they are doing. And bless them and anoint them. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go do impossible things with God. Today's Catholic Women. On The Voice for Catholic Women Now. Iowa Catholic Radio. Catholic Radio.